it's gonna be interesting because uh, because of some problems I, I know what I'm gonna show just half of that next I'm gonna improvise whatever okay this is my son he's a year and a half now I took this picture of him and my future wife um, like half a year ago and this is me uh, on the right uh, like 30 years something ago uh, so I'm sure that I'm dead you know uh, okay uh, topic is uh, snooze or choose uh, and uh, why we have to kick your uh, our own asses uh, it's pretty important I think because uh, the reason I am kicking my ass pretty often is uh, that I want to be happy and if I I'm not doing something uh, new I'm not happy so I'm trying to explore as much as I can and some slideshow of my picture of my travels of and short story uh, he chooses to eat blueberries the way he knows he likes because he ha he's happy he's not happy the way uh, I would like he would eat blueberries and um, I'm okay with that uh, I chose to accompany my friend who is crazy sportsman in a small like he said let's do small uh, skiing uh, from uh, over uh, over over uh, that shore from Ventes Ragas to Nida uh, he said it's like five miles or something and uh, one way and back and uh, it looked appeared that it's like three times more and we started uh, at noon we finished in a dark uh, it was crazy cold my water got frozen my Snickers bar was like a stone I couldn't eat. Uh, I was falling in the dark because I didn't. It was so dark I couldn't uh, feel like you know the stand, the how vertical the stand. Uh, as you see, I like activities. Uh, I like crossing finish lines. Uh, you, you should try like bicycle finish line in a marathon, a running marathon or something. Uh, winter canoeing it's pretty interesting even uh, then if you fall from the canoe uh, my first half marathon uh, when I called my mom after uh, I said I cannot stand you know my I'm my legs hurt and uh, she said and the reason is you were running is um, I didn't know what to say you know I just be happy I you know got to the finish line Sometimes you, I choose to make things I cannot explain. Um, it's uh, when I put my this picture on Facebook, uh, nobody believed. But uh, I, I thought today probably because on this carpet was walking Angelina Jolie, you know. So okay, another picture I cannot explain, but. Um, some crazy night in Christiania in Copenhagen uh, and if you can survive in night all night in that crazy place then you can do you know selfie with your cousin in Copenhagen <laughs> yeah I, li I like flying you know because it costs less than uh, you know to have beer and pizza in the night with your friends okay friends it's okay but beer and pizza sometimes let me I mean like at least one time from 10 you know change to flying thing it's cost like 90 liters and for one hour you're gonna be flying over wherever you want <coughs> uh, you see I like height yes uh, high altitude it's on Brooklyn B grip bridge uh, I was preparing for New York half marathon running with my dog uh, uh, and uh, the more interesting part is that it's I'm hanging over this uh, road it's pretty stupid of course but you know many stupid things you need to try in your life uh, we chose to bring our dog to New York because we just quit our jobs with uh, my as, you s as I told you future wife Vita and uh, it was the m most amazing time three months uh, winter time in New York we spent there and we came back with a son from New York so he like you know half American so we came back with no money, but it was the most crazy time. 
uh, when you bring your dog to New York, then they let you put your dog on the, you know, login scene, even in front of three, two thousand people. Uh, Morka was on this one, and she was barking on the in front of this audience into microphone like this. Uh, you see, I like New York. I like many places, but um, uh, New York especially. Uh, Madison Square Garden. Uh, I bet you there is nobody in here, maybe in living in Lithuania, who got locked up in Madison Squ Square Garden at 3 a.m. in because I was press center was in uh, like very like six or seven floor, and the night I was walking down like following exit signs down, and on the ground floor like there is no uh, entry outside, you know, exit, no doors are opening. That door I came through says no re-entry back. There is a black camera. I was screaming, shouting, you know, and nobody. And then I chose, you need to choose something, yes? Snooze or choose. Snooze in Square Madison Square Garden. I chose to call 911. <laughs> uh, they asking, they were asking very much many questions, but you see, I like uh, policemen, officers, yes? Uh, it's in Argentina. No, no, in Chile. Of course, I like women. Women sometimes like me. <laughs> they even ask, uh, you know, to put my signature on their... Uh, yes, this is a beach in Venezuela. I'm over there, you see? Yeah. So I choose to travel. I choose to be happy, you know? You have to cho choose to be happy. Uh, the most important thing. Um, uh, I chose to make a photo tours to for Lithuanian photographers and to teach them how to take pictures and also how to be happy. And uh, maybe half of them even know how to take pictures, but they don't know how to be happy. That's why they come with me. Oh, uh, it's a Jesus, I think. No? Okay, whatever. Uh, I choose friends. I choose friends. I like to have many friends. Uh, we can, you know, have a small talk and we can be friends. Because if we get together, uh, my friend uh, Abdul, he makes good prices for my tourists. Uh, this is another friend uh, from uh, Takama Desert uh, in Dakar Rally. Women, I like women, women like me. I like motorcycles. Uh, yeah, motorcycles, motorcycles, traveling through Europe, it's Slovenia. Zhigimana was talking about Slovenia, yes? Uh, a beautiful country. Motorcycles, basketball, uh, motorcycles in Africa, it's much better. Also riding, not only motorcycles, you know, <laughs> donkeys. Uh, uh, sometimes I choose to do good things. I, I don't know why, actually. Uh, like to clean some cemeteries. Uh, you should try sometime. It's pretty interesting. Uh, um <laughs> uh, I, I don't know why, but Chinese like me also, you know. Uh, this is my team with Chinese. Uh, so I choose to be nice and to pose with them. Friends, friends. Yes, if you, you know, go to Dakar, to if you take pictures of NBA guys, then they let you put your camera on the big screen, you know and to talk in front of big audiences, and then they take pictures of you. Uh, and uh, if you choose to act, I mean, choose to act sometimes stupidly, but uh, I flew with helicopter, not this one, but uh, in desert trolley uh, I flew, I was taking really beautiful pictures. Uh, but. The most interesting thing, they didn't let me fly because everything was booked. It cost crazy money. I mean, thousands of dollars, Eurosport and blah, 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 pay for that. And like every day I was walking to those helicopter uh, uh, guys and I was asking, maybe today somebody like got sick, maybe from the crew was flying, you know, cameraman. And uh, they were like, after three days coming every morning, uh, I was waking up really early. And uh, they w were my friends, you know, after a few days. They were laughing, were seeing me, and were laughing, like, he's coming again. And four day, somebody didn't show up. Thomas, okay, you can fly. 
I mean, I chose. I chose to be, you know, to try, to try. Uh, I chose to uh, make a big driving exhibition, photo pictures. I like big pictures. Uh, in the airport, all the airport was basketball pictures, seven meters high. It's pretty interesting to watch people. Uh, standing and looking into your picture, you know, like somebody is waiting, somebody to fly in and like standing for 15 minutes and watching your picture. Uh, big pictures, big people, uh, if you're, you know, good, sometimes they let you put your picture on a Forbes magazine cover. It's uh, just sample, but this picture was, yes. I just, uh, like, a few weeks ago, so but I didn't get real, uh, so I, but you have to believe, I'll show you later when I get real one. Uh, the best, like Ruta Melutita, yes, you know, like the best swimmer all in the world. So this is the, like 20 times better rally driver. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I met him, uh, and I met him in uh, Atacama Desert, you know, <laughs> like I'm standing, taking pictures. Uh, and he drives to me and asks me, like, is it good place <coughs> for the jumping? And I'm like, is it Loeb, Sebastian Loeb? Yes, can I take photo? Can I interview you? Can I take pictures of you? Can I do your video? Blah, 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 blah. Big guys. Yes, I like to take pictures of big guys. LeBron James, I as long as I know, uh, the only one journalist who managed to get LeBron's interview one-on-one. -on -one. So... It wasn't really long, but uh, before, like, those two press guys, like, took me, like, literally, like this, you know, out of LeBron face, uh, he answered, like, three my questions, I think. Okay, Mark, Mark, yeah? We're slaves of uh, Mark now. And if you, like, you know, like to be happy, then they put your name on uh, bus stops in, you know, Argentina. I was driving in Argentina and like Thomas, yeah, my bus stop. Okay, whatever. Okay, Andrzej Jabrowskas uh, will c uh, be, you know, coming in a few speeches here. Um, he has a show, uh, Kitas Campas, uh, and uh, I chose a few days ago. They were like celebrating five years anniversary, and I, m my uh, wife, future wife, will marry. Will be married in a few months. Maybe, years, uh, whatever, you know, <laughs> we'll see. Uh, it just sometimes you find to spend money, you know, somewhere else, not on marriage. It doesn't change any anything. So we're just, just postponing for f maybe next year, maybe, whatever. Uh, so I, um, I don't know him, you know, in person. I'm calling him, and uh, Vita was um, uh, celebrating 30 years anniversary a few days ago, May 8th. And I'm and uh, that show is on was on May eighth. I'm calling to Andrews a few days ago before show, and I'm asking him, can you put her on uh, you know f in front of the on the audience and uh, 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 tell her be happy birthday and blah blah blah. And he's like, ah, he can hear you know that silent. What the f or, uh, what does he want you know like? And then I I'm gonna buy like 15 tickets at least. And he's like, okay, let's do this. Let's do I, I bought like 30, 23, I think, because uh, my friends came with me. Uh, and uh, it was pretty crazy. She was really <coughs> surprised. And uh, sh uh, she came back from the, you know, the and she was like, oh, my hands are shaking. Thank you, thank you. The best birthday ever. Whatever. Okay, so I choose to be uh, happy, you know. I choose to do things, I choose to be happy. Uh, sometimes uh, it makes me, yeah, you, f you, you sometimes you fall, you know, fall down, you but you have to try. Um, sometimes it's like they say in Lithuania, there is no bad weather, bad uh, dressing, yes? Uh, we chose to go to Tamsta, it was raining, crazy, the crazy cold, crazy rainy, but we chose to, you know, to go. Uh, and uh, the most important thing, I think, in my life, I mean, if you would ask the one, deci one decision uh, I chose right, uh, that I quit my job, uh, and, uh, 
and I started taking pictures. Yeah, I started to be like photography world guy. So if I wouldn't, uh, uh, another interesting uh, sentence I heard a few years ago from my friend. Uh, you know, it's hard to you know reach uh, the top of the mountain, uh, but you have to try. But the most stupid thing is to you know to realize that you reached wrong mountain. So you have to choose right. I know it's difficult, but um, there is no place for for you know scary things like you have to do. If you wanna, you have to do like quit throw everything, leave everything, start new life and do it. Uh, this is my pictures in Morocco, like Marius was walking with dogs on um, <laughs> the big, he was climbing the biggest mm, sand dune in Morocco. And uh, if you don't choose to be happy, you'll be your own shade. No? This is my shade, yeah? Called Frog Kunklus Clan or something, whatever. So I like to be happy, mm, yeah. And uh, this is Tears uh, Airport, you know, Vilnius Airport. Uh, like four years ago, I met Vita uh, for the first time on the stairs um, because we were um, coming uh, to meet our mutual friend who was uh, driving from uh, flying in from uh, Rome, and. Um uh i met that f our mutual friend because i was like few years back i was flying to athens to take pictures to be photographer you know so if if you know wouldn't be photography i don't know what no but my life would be like pretty boring cuz everything is my life con in my life is connected to photography. I you know I can find a link to photography, and I'm so thankful that I ten years ago I chose to quit my job and to start uh, earning less, but to be a photographer because I wanted to be a photographer. And um, like a few years ago, uh, she came to meet me. I was flying from I think Venezuela back to Vilnius, and I proposed to her. And the same the same place I saw her for the first time, and she said yes. And this is the f first picture uh, was in a flight show. Uh, you see Laura, she's falling down. <laughs> this is that the, the biggest Morocco dune, uh, and they were running for the first time down the hill in the sand, and she was so happy to fall down was the most interesting experience for her I think in that trip like you know to eat that sand you know like, <laughs> like uh, so falling is not so hard sometimes you do just have to be brave okay thank you <laughs>